Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming and Tech Productions, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some of my best tips and tricks for GeForce Now. So if you guys didn't know, I've already made three videos on this that have got in total 47,656 views and 1,207 likes. So since that video got so big and famous, I'm going to be making another one and you guys actually asked for this. So hey i gotta give it to you guys so before i start i do want to tell you guys that i make polls and posts so please go ahead and check out my latest post go ahead and go and comment stuff drop it drop a like or even vote and with that being said please make sure to subscribe turn notifications and drop a like and if you guys want another one of these videos go ahead and get this video to i'll go ahead and say 15 likes because this takes really long time to think of some more tips and tricks so with that being said let's go ahead and get started okay guys so the first one is make sure you're on the right server i don't know how many times i can stress this to you guys if you're not on the right server you're gonna have problems from the beginning mainly because there are certain locations that geforce now or nvidia has set up so that people who live in different areas or far away from you know the nvidia where wherever wherever they have their business at and basically you want to make sure that you're on the right server so you guys can see if i go over here to settings and you guys see server location us south so they have a whole bunch for people so people who live out in eu people who um like live in a certain part of the eu and basically you just want to make sure that you're either on auto or somewhere near auto now keep in mind that like i said in my last videos that um i actually had a tip where you could change this to get better you know um like so you'll get into the game faster but if you want to have the best performance you might want to go on auto so with that being said there's not much to this tip i just want to make sure that you guys know that you need to be on this because Without being on this, you're, you already started off really bad. So that's pretty much it for this tip. And now let's go ahead and move on to the first trick. Okay, guys. So the first trick is to enable a VPN. So basically what you want to do is you want to download a VPN, any VPN. You might want to do a free one. But if you choose to pay, you might get a, uh, better results. But you want to first, you want to enable a VPN. I'm not going to go through this because I don't really use VPNs and I don't use GeForce Now as much, but I want to make a video for you guys. But you want to enable the VPN before you get into the game, um, join a game. And then once you get into the game and you're all set, disconnect. And basically that will help you get a faster um, like waiting time. And what you want to do is when you enable a VPN, of course, you want to try to get the closest to, you know, like if I'm on U.S. South, I want to try to get as close to um, U.S. South, you know. So that will basically help you with getting through the waiting time a lot faster. So other than that, that's pre that's a pretty short one. This video is going to be fairly short, mainly because all these are easy and you would want them easy so that they're not there's not too much to do. But that's pretty much it for this trick. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. Okay guys, so the next trick is set GeForce Now to high priority. So I've done this with a lot of other things and actually with one of my last videos, I actually showed you guys how to fix lag in Fortnite and Rocket League. And one of the, one of the things was to actually change it to high priority. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that. All you gotta do is go down here, right click, task manager, and you want to go to details and then you want to just find GeForce Now. now you might see that there's a whole bunch of them. You want to find the one that is that is using the most memory. So you guys see this one is using 140,000 and you just right click on it and you want to just set priority to high and change priority. Now, that's pretty much it for this one. I'm telling you, this video is going to be fairly quick and all of these are really easy to do. And now let's go ahead and move on to the next trick. OK, guys, so this is the third trick and what you want to do is you want to set geforce now to high performance in your graphics settings this is actually something else i also did for rocket league and fortnite for that video and honestly you can do this with any game you just got to be able to find the actual um, game so what you want to do is you want to go down here graphic settings and then you want to go down here make sure this is on desktop app and then press browse so first you want to press cancel and you want to do run 
and then you want to press open and you want to do percent local app data percent now once you do that you want to find nvidia nvidia corporation and you want to do geforce now you want to do cef and then you'll go down and you'll see this geforce now.xe now here's the problem when you go through here you don't actually get that specific you know um you can't find that normally what you want to do is you actually want to let me see yeah you want to paste this and then you want to go to browse and then you want to just go up here delete all of this put this in and boom it's that easy and now you just press geforce now.xe and there you go it's in there now what you want to do is you want to do options and then put it on high performance and this should help with all the lag and the latency and just helping it run a lot smoother now you want to just save and then there you go that's pretty much it that's pretty much it for this trick now let's go ahead and move on to the next one okay guys last but not least you want to make sure to close all apps in the background and i i mean if you're doing like recording and stuff i, I can get why you have like um you know your um obs in the background but like if you have like browsers and stuff up that's it really doesn't help and there's really no point of having your browser in the background so before you even open a game make sure that you close any un, um any apps that you just don't need at the moment and that will just help tremendously and Thank you guys for watching. If you guys ended up enjoying this video, please subscribe and turn on the notifications and make sure to like if you guys want more. Get this video to 15 likes if you guys want another one. And if you guys like, you know, if you guys have any other problems with GeForce Now, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll make a video on how to do it. And I actually have some cool stuff coming up with GeForce Now. So go ahead and stay tuned for that drop down notification so you will get notified whenever i upload and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video